Alright, you've created an AviSynth script. Now, we need to take a look at the video and see if it contains any interlacing, and if it does, we want to remove the interlacing. We want to open Virtual Dub Mod by going to Start, Programs, AMV App, Virtual Dub Mod, Virtual Dub Mod. Now, once it comes up, you want to go to File, Open Video File, and we want to choose our AviSynth script. I'm going to pick this Azumanga Dio script that I made. Open. Alright, now I'm going to show you what interlacing looks like. Alright, here we go. Interlacing is these thin lines going through the footage. It only shows up when there's motion, so you're not going to see it in still parts of the video. Now, if you don't see any interlacing at all in your video, then you're not going to need to do anything else here. If you did force film when you saved your DG index project file, then you shouldn't see any interlacing. If you do, then something is wrong and you should go back and recreate your DG index project file and make sure to set it to honor pull down flags. If DG index told you that your video type was PAL or the frame rate was 25 frames per second, then we need to simply de interlace the video and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Otherwise, we are going to try removing the interlacing through a process called inverse telecine. We can do this by just making a few simple additions to our AviSense script. Virtual Dub Mod has a handy script editor that we can use for this. Just go up to Tools, Script Editor, and as you can see, your AviSense script will appear here. Now, I want to go to a new line, and I'm going to type TFM open parentheses, pp equals zero, close parentheses, and then on another new line I'm going to type t decimate, open parentheses, mode equals one, close parentheses. Now I'm going to go to file, save, and open as avi. And now I'm going to look through the video and see if I see any more interlacing in it. If you don't see any interlacing, or if you see maybe a frame here, a frame there, nothing major, then the inverse telecine worked, and we're just going to go back and make one slight change to the script. You want to remove this pp equals zero from here, and hit save, and you're done there. Now, if your video type was PAL, or if you still had a lot of interlaced frames in your video after you tried the inverse telecine, then we need to just deinterlace the video. In order to do that, you want to open up the script editor, and if you've got any lines from the inverse telecine, you want to delete these. And I want to add a line that says T deint with parentheses. And save and open. and this will remove the interlacing but as you can see it can make the lines kind of jagged here um, if you go on the script editor you can add a parameter called mode equals two and see how this looks this can look a lot better sometimes uh, but it can cause frames to blend together so, so you basically you might want to try it with and without this and see what you think looks better and once you've decided that just save your script and you're done